Welcome back to Nature League. A few months ago, we were right in the middle of the fall season here in the Northern Hemisphere. And in Montana, that meant a stunning display of beautiful fall colors all over town. I got some footage at the time to share with all of you. But instead of just appreciating the outside beauty, I figured we should learn about what's happening inside these leaves to really understand and appreciate the wonder of fall. Come here. You gonna help? Yeah, you're always helping. If we're going to consider how leaves change colors, we should probably start with familiarizing ourselves with the leaf itself. For most vascular plants, the leaf is the main place where photosynthesis occurs. Not only that, but the leaf is in contact with the environment around it and is able to exchange gases, release heat, and even act as a defensive barrier to things trying to eat or harm the plant. Now, there are so many different kinds of leaves because certain types do better in certain environments, and there are constant trade-offs in form and function. And only some of these leaves actually change color and fall during, well, fall, at least where I live. Deciduous trees in the northern hemisphere lose their leaves during the fall season, and in doing so, they're actually able to retain more water. But the leaves aren't just dropped. The tree gets a little bit out of them before they fall, and these nutrients get stored and are used to help new leaves develop the following spring. It's the circle of la trees, something like that. Plant hormones regulate when this leaf abscission, or loss, happens. And luckily for us, when it does, we get an incredible display of reds, oranges, and yellows, truly a sight to behold. But what actually causes the change in the color itself? We should probably start with why leaves are green in the first place. It turns out that violet blue and red lights are most able to rock out some photosynthesis. So the chlorophyll molecules that do photosynthesis inside the leaf absorb blue, violet, and red wavelengths, and then reflect all the rest. The rest happens to be greenish, so that's what our eye sees when we look at leaves. Pretty sweet, right? Chlorophyll is just one pigment molecule hanging around inside of plant leaves. As leaves age, there are other major players in the pigment game, carotenoids and anthocyanins. And it's these pigments that wind up reflecting those gorgeous yellow, oranges, and reds that make up the fall landscape. Let's dig a bit deeper. Leaves fall off of trees at the end of a typical aging process. Part of that process includes the loss of chlorophyll. That's the one that reflects green light. When chlorophyll goes away and stops upstaging everything else, the other pigments inside the leaves are way more noticeable. Carotenoids are one of those pigments, and these molecules are good at absorbing light in the blue and green spectrum. Xanthophylls are carotenoids that reflect yellow light, and beta-carotene is another that does well at reflecting orange. These molecules are responsible for the yellows and oranges we see in fall foliage. But what about red? That's my favorite fall color, and I saw a lot of it on my outing. Another group of pigment molecules, the anthocyanins, are responsible for this. These pigments absorb mainly green to some blue light, meaning they reflect reddish colors that meet our eyes. Unlike the carotenoids that are sort of revealed when chlorophyll pieces out, anthocyanin is actually synthesized right before the leaves fall off of the trees. Of course, none of this happens exactly uniformly. You might find leaves with all three of these pigments reflecting light, and maybe in different regions of one leaf. Or you might see a bunch of brown leaves, which are a result of chlorophyll and anthocyanin both present. Maybe you'll see some orange. That can be when anthocyanins and carotenoids are working together to reflect both red and yellow light. Or it might even be coming from something like beta-carotene. It's so incredibly cool that the colors we see across these leaves is a direct result of which pigment molecule is hanging out where. Light is a physical thing that very literally is absorbed and reflected all around us. For those of us able to see, this can result in some incredible experiences over the lifetime of a single tree. Now, we've 
barely scratch the surface of what's really happening inside of these leaves and all of the chemicals and compounds and molecules and pigments and processes that occur to make fall look so incredibly beautiful. But I figured it'd be fun just to learn a little bit and to really appreciate what's happening when we see all these fall colors around us. As this episode is being released during the new year of 2021, I hope that this footage of these trees and leaves have reminded you of the old and the new and how the seasons will keep changing both for the world around us and also ourselves in our own lives. Best wishes to you and your loved ones this new year. Stay safe and be well.